Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so welcome back to the lecture series of finite volume and as we recall, we are just looking at the deferred correction approach using two different method. One is the downwind weighting factor method which we have discussed and we have seen the shortcomings of that method when from a multidimensional system to one dimensional system when we go, we can easily or could easily see what is the problem with that approach and there could be some remedies and now what we are going to discuss in this particular lecture is the in w f which is the normalized weighting factor. So, that is what we are going to talk on in this lecture. Now, we have seen that if uh, issues with the DWF, now we will similarly formulate the NWF and here in this case the um, one would try to, so this one actually try to address some of the address the issues of DWF method, so that we can have a better platform or framework. So, it operates by linearizing the normalized interpolation profile such that phi f tilde would be looking like L phi c tilde plus k. So, that is a sort of a linearization and L and K these are all constant that represents the slope, L represents the slope, K represents the intercept of the linear function within any interval of phi f with the number of interval depending on the HR scheme which is being used. So, this is an exact representation for nearly an all HR scheme that we have already discussed earlier. Now, for example, in normalized variable formulation for mean mode scheme, if you look at that, the values of L and K that we have obtained there is like this 3 by 2 0 for range where phi shield goes from half to 0, then half half where phi c actually goes between half and then 1 0 which is elsewhere. So, these are the values of L and K which we have already derived while looking at the HR scheme. Now, second step is to rewrite this ratio phi f minus phi u divided by phi d minus phi u that ratio one can write L multiplied by this factor and then plus k. So, that is what one can do, which can be transformed to a system where one can write the phase value phi a equals to L into phi c minus phi u plus k into phi d minus phi u plus phi u, which is 
L phi C plus K phi D plus 1 minus L minus K phi U. So, where phi C is the cell constant, phi D is the downstream node, phi U is the upstream node along the flow direction. So, this will be the flow direction. So, that is how the representation of the nodes which are being used and this is pretty much consistent throughout our lectures what we have been following with the notation system. Now, L and K these are the values L and for a number of higher order scheme and this is the values for a number of HR scheme. So, which we can see for different kind of scheme what are the values. So, let us say this is again in uniform grid with NBF formulation, then what one can see for upwind L and K, this will have values like 1 and 0. Now, second order upwind which will have L and K is 3 by 2 0. Central difference scheme, these values would be half, half. From, so this would be 1, 1 fourth, 1, 1 fourth. Now, when you look at quick the value would be 3 by 4, 3 by 8. Now, we have already seen for mean mode the value has an different segment, one is 3 by 2 0, it could have half half, it could be 1 0. This is the range where phi c less than half greater than 0, phi c less than 1 greater than half and else where. So, similarly for pusher the LF value, LK value will have four uh, uh, again three segment, one is 3 by 2 0, 0 1, 1 0. Here the phi c goes between 0, phi c tilde goes between 1 to 2 by 3, this is elsewhere. Muscle scheme, it will have a segment of 4. So, 2 0, 1 1 fourth, 0 1 1 0. This is phi c when lies between 0 to 1 fourth, when 1 fourth to 3 fourth, 3 fourth to 1 elsewhere. And similarly, the smart scheme, where this will also have segment of 4, 
फोर जीरो विच विल गेट यू जीरो थ्री बै फोर बै थ्री बै एट जिरो वन वन जिरो दिस इज वन बै सिक्स टू फाइव बै सिक्स फाइव बै सिक्स टू वन दिस इज एल स्कोर सो वन कैन सी दैट डिफरेंट एल बै के भैल्यू कैन बी अबटेंड ऑन ए यूनिफर्म ना फॉर अनस्ट्रक्चर ग्रीड this upstream node or u is virtual so the term involving phi u is treated as a treated in deferred correction fashion but the resulting source term which would be for unstructured the resulting source term which will be in form of वन माइनस एल माइनस के फाइ यू इज स्मर दैन वन वुड बी ऑप्टेन उथ द स्टैंडार्ड डेफर्ड कारेक्शन सो सो दैट इज व्हाट इट वुड गिव इन यू अनस्ट्रक्चर सिस्टम सो द एन डब्ल्यू एफ रिक्वेयर्स लेस अंडार रिलैक्सेशन दैन द स्टैंडार्ड डेफर्ड कारेक्शन मेथड so obviously if you require less correction nwf requires less under relaxation which will lead to faster convergence so if you have that now we'll start from our equation which we are dealing with this phi f so the phi f that we are having is l phi c minus phi u plus k phi d minus phi u which is finally written as l phi c k phi d 1 minus l minus k phi u so we start with that for a general case multidimensional grid m dot f phi f can be written as m dot f 0 lf plus phi c plus k plus phi f then 1 minus l a plus minus k plus phi u plus minus m dot f 0 lf minus phi f plus k f minus phi c 1 minus lf minus k minus phi u minus so this plus and minus goes in the so if you linearized if you linear rise then you get flux f m dot f k f plus minus m dot f l f minus flux c f m dot f l f plus minus m dot f k f minus and flux v f m dot f 0 1 one minus l f plus k f plus phi u plus minus m dot f 
वन एफ एल एफ माइनस के एफ माइनस फाइव यू माइनस देन वंस यू सब्सटीट्यूट ऑल दिस थिंग्स द डिस्क्रिटाइज इक्वेशन इज ऑप्टेंट एज ए सी फाइव सी प्लस एफ एन बी सी ए फाइव एफ इक्वल्स टू बी सी सो सिस्टम लुक्स सिमिलर बट द डिफरेंसेस वुड कम इन द कोफिशेंट्स लाइक हियर इट वुड बी फ्लक्स एफ एफ हुच इज के एफ प्लस एम डट एफ जिरो माइनस एल एफ माइनस एम डट एफ जिरो ए सी हुच इज फ्लक्स सी एफ एन बी सी एल एफ प्लस एम डॉट एफ जीरो माइनस एम डॉट एफ जीरो एंड योर बी सी इज क्यू सी वी सी माइनस समेस ऑफ दिस फ्लक्सेस फ्लक्स भी एफ विच इज गोइंग टू बी क्यू सी बी सी एन बी सी वन माइनस एल एफ प्लस माइनस के एफ प्लस फाइव यू प्लस मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एम डॉट एफ जीरो माइनस माइनस वन माइनस एल एफ माइनस के एफ माइनस फाइव यू माइनस माइनस एम डॉट एफ जीरो सो दिस इज द टर्म हुच इज ड्यू टू डेफर्ट करेक्शन और द सोर्स टर्म ड्यू टू डेफर्ट करेक्शन सो दैट साउ इन योर एन डब्ल्यू एफ फॉर्मुलेशन द डिस्क्रिटाइज वेरिएबल वुड लुक लाइक एंड दे वुड एपियर इन द डिस्क्रिटाइज सिस्टम नाउ this one was initially developed there is a small thing which is associated with this one this was initially developed for unstructured grid and with this formulation which allows a full implicit treatment of the hr scheme but what is happening the full implicitness of the method on unstructured grid of phi u which is being an actual node in the computational domain that can be re resolved in the algebraic equation so that has now a larger stencil that includes the for nodes e e and w w now for the one dimensional system like what we have done for the one d system c e w e e w w for one d system this again we can simplify this particular set of multi dimensional formulation to 1d 1d nwf formulation and there it will be ac still phi c plus f goes from e west e w w af phi f equals to bc so where your ae would become 
flux F e which is m dot e k e plus minus m dot e l e minus plus m dot w 1 minus l w plus k w plus. Similarly, the a w is flux f w which is m w 0 multiplied with k w plus minus m w 0 multiplied with l w minus plus m dot e 0 multiplied with 1 minus l e plus k e plus a e e which is going to give you the flux f e which is minus m dot e 1 minus l e minus k e and a w w flux f w w which is minus m dot w 1 minus l w minus k w. So, A c is summation of N b c flux c f which is m dot e 0 l e plus m dot w 0 l w plus minus m dot e 0 k e minus m dot w 0 k w minus. So, that is nothing but your minus a e plus a w plus a e e a w w plus m dot e plus m dot w. So, that is what you get. Now, what that does this N W F formulation that H R schemes L is greater than that of K. So, provided there is a narrow region of N V D close to the downward line and that we will see how it happens. The second thing is that the value of A C is always positive and that is why so, A C is always positive and that makes the system is a stable system or the instability does not arise. Now, along the downwind line of N V D where your so, downwind line N V D variable diagram my L and K it should be 0 1 a a value of 0 for a a c coefficient is obtained. So, in this case the l and k can be set to capital S 1 minus l phi f where l is usually set to the value of l from the previous interval of this scheme. So, what it brings down to the moral of the thing is that N W F to be much more robust than the D W F scheme, because it always guarantees this coefficient A C to be positive, which does not 
lead to any instability. Now, the previous derivation was based on the n b a formulation. Now, we look at this n w f method in the T B D framework. So, now we want to see, so what happens that except that muscle van Leeuwer limiter, all the limiters of the T B D scheme actually will be presented along a straight line in the T B D C B C or psi r diagram. So, and one can write that psi r f is a m r f plus n, because all of them except muscle van Leer limiter, all other limiters will follow some sort of a straight line there. Now, m and n these are constant one is the m is the slope n is the intercept of the linear function and depend on their geometric equations within a interval of psi r f. Now, the number of intervals it depends on the high resolution T B D scheme. Now, for example, let us see what happens to this particular equation if you equate with the mean mode scheme. So, for mean mode scheme the value of m and n would be 1 0, 0 1 or 0 0 because in this range R f is less than 1 greater than 0, R f is greater than equals to 1, R f is less than 0. Now, once we use this psi R f definition and then we try to evaluate the phase value like phi f equals to phi c plus half of m r f plus n phi d minus phi c. One can do little bit of algebra here which would be half of m phi c minus phi u divided by phi d minus phi c plus n and phi d minus phi c which will again lead to 1 plus half m minus half n phi c plus half n phi d minus half m phi u. So, again phi u phi c phi d it will follow the flow direction. So, the values of m and n one can find out all uh, that um, for the different different schemes and also so the um, one thing that you can obtain like this particular expression when you has the same form as earlier expression like if you write in this form phi f equals to L phi c plus k phi d 1 minus L minus k phi u. So, if you compare these two what one can write is that 
L plus uh, L equals to 1 plus half m minus n by 2 and k equals to n by 2. This is what it gives you back. So, once you look at the similarity. So, we will stop here and we will continue the discussion in the next lecture. Thank you.